story with you. And it's a story that I think many people probably will be able to relate to because if you're serious about building a business in forever, at some stage this will have or will happen to you. I've been in the business about three months. And Bethan said, Jane said I was ignorance on fire. That wasn't a compliment. Actually, Bethan, it was a compliment. Because none of us in the early days of building a business truly know what we're doing. But we don't have to wait until we know what to do. We should go for it flat out with a passion, with an energy, with a belief, with an excitement, because that's what people buy. And that was me. I joined Forever, I got my box. I was so excited to tell everybody what, what I was doing. I believed everybody would see what I saw. How many of you can relate to that? The very first person I shared the opportunity with said yes. How cool is that? And I thought from there on in, it would be more of the same. So my story is, one morning I dropped the children off at school and I uh, went home, sorted the horses out, sorted the animals out, and I'd arranged to go and see a friend for coffee to show the products and the opportunity to her. So I got changed, went round to her house. I was so excited, ignorance on fire dashing around, I was like oozing energy. And I went in and we had a great cup of coffee, shared the product, told her a bit about the opportunity in my limited experience. She seemed excited back. She told me she wanted to buy product. She told me she wanted to look more at the business. She asked me to leave her a brochure. She said her husband was due in and that she would show him the product as well because she knew that he would want some. I left that morning on a high. Has any ever, anybody ever been in that situation? You walk out, well in fact you kind of glide out. <laughs> this is it, I'm on my way, everything's cool. I've never had so many pictures of my shoes taken as I have today. <laughs> Isn't it unbelievable? Most people get pictures of their shoes taken because they've got eight inch heels. If I wore a pair of those, I'd be flat on my back. So I thought I'd go for style and comfort. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I left the house. I was absolutely ecstatic, brilliant. Got home that night, said to John, this is it, I'm on a roll. She loves the product. She wants to look at the business. I am just, I'm there. Anyone had that? That night, made a few phone calls, got a bit of positivity, and I was just on cloud nine. Next morning, got up, took the kids to school. On the way back from the school run, I decided to stop at the local shop. And I went in, and the girl that owns the shop is someone I know, it's called Janet, and she said, Jane, what have you been doing? I said, well, I've started this new business. I've got a great range of products and you really need to have a look at it. She went, oh no. I went, what do you mean? She said, no, Fern's been in and told me and she's been down the road and told Eileen and she's been down the road and told, down the road and told Diana when none of us are supposed to talk to you. I said, what? She said, no, no, no. She said, it's one of those things and stay away from what you're doing. I'm with you on that one, sister. <laughs> so how many of you have had these moments where disappointment is so impactful on the way that you feel it almost stops you in your tracks? That hurt me. She was a friend. She had given me good feedback the day before and yet there I was standing in the shop having the rug pulled out from under my feet because She'd been around the village telling everybody not to talk to me. Now, I must admit, I went home and I had a bit of a pity party. There was only me there, but I had a bit of a pity party. And I can laugh at it now. But when I look back at that moment, it was a defining moment in my career in forever. 
And I guess why I'm sharing this story with you is because when these things happen, and they will, when people try and steal your dream, and they will, when people give you their opinions, and they will, when people tell you you're crazy, you're mad, it's one of those things, and they will, we have a sliding door moment. We have a choice. Now, in that moment, I must admit, I went home and I allowed this feeling to engulf me. And as the day went on, it became more and more and more powerful. And by the time John came home that evening, I said to him, I'm not sure this business is for me. And he said, well, what do you mean? And I told him what had happened. And he said to me, Jane, you have a choice. You can either allow someone to steal your dream or you can pick yourself up, brush yourself off and say, oh well, and move on. That's what I call a sliding door moment. And the choices that we make in those moments that challenge us, that deflate us, that make us question the very decision that has got us to that point in time, the decisions that we make, the choices that we make will define the rest of our lives. If I had allowed the disappointment of her reaction to stop me moving on, we would not have built a school in Malawi for children that don't have what our children have. If I had allowed the feeling, the distraught feeling that I had when I felt that my friends were talking about me behind my back, we wouldn't be living in a beautiful barn in the country right now. If I'd allowed her to steal my dream because of her opinions, her perceptions on what I was doing. We wouldn't have a beautiful home in the south of France. If I had allowed her bitter, twisted perception of what she thought this profession of network marketing is, we wouldn't have secured our family's financial future. But here's the biggest if. The choices that you make don't just impact you. The choices that you make will impact every single person that you come into contact with. So when you have those moments where everything that you think is amazing, the journey is amazing, it's easy, it's a piece of cake. Everybody's gonna buy your product, everybody's gonna join your business. Those moments of, of, of you're like on cloud nine, if you allow people to steal that, then everything in your life will stay the same. This journey is not easy, but it's simple. It's a simple process. And what most people do is they don't marry the process. You've got to marry the process and divorce the result. Because if you marry the process and divorce the result, the results will come. So for me, it's the one million. Now some of you are thinking, yeah, we know you picked up a one million chairman's bonus check, it's not that. Because of that moment of handling disappointment in the right way, of being able to have my moment where I felt truly awful and maybe she was right and I was wrong in my decision to join forever, it was that moment where I thought, no, you will not steal my dream that has led us to one million. And you're probably saying, well, one million what? If it's not a one million chairman's bonus, what is one million? That is, because of that decision, 
Today we have in excess of one million people in our downline around the world. And it could have been so different. It could have been so different. Imagine for a moment what would have happened if I'd have said, I don't like feeling like this. You win, I lose. It's not about me being able to say I've got a million people in my team. What's important to me is to say that we've changed a million lives. Some directly and some indirectly. We've helped people enjoy better health with the product. We've helped people make a couple of hundred pounds a month. We've helped people make a couple of thousand a month. We've helped people make 10,000 a month and we've created many, many, many millionaires. And all because I overcame the feeling of disappointment. So when you have a moment in your journey, and you will, and you will have more than one moment, I ask you all to think about me sharing this message with you right now and say, what would Jane have done? What would Jane do right now? Allow yourself a moment to maybe feel frustrated with it and then get over it. I like to say you've got about 20 seconds then get over it, (laughs) move on. Because if I can do it, then I know that each and every one of you can stand up here one day and say, one million, who's with me? I'm gonna come back tomorrow and share a lot more with you. But today I wanna say thank you very much and let's all go for one million.